Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael here coming at you from sunny San Diego. And in today's video, I got a treat. We're going to be talking about stacking media on top of each other. So the reason why you might want to stack media on top of each other is because you might want to have split videos at the same time where there's an interviewer and an interviewee, right? With Story Creator now, that's possible. That's just one use case. You might just want to stack images next to each other inside of a video or just two videos next to each other or on top of each other. That's one use case. The other one is you might want to stack them not next to each other or on top of each other, but literally overlay them. And the reason why you might want to do that is to create a unique effect for your social media videos. You might want to have a stock footage in the background or an image and then a foreground uh, video where you're talking about something of value. And then the third one might be you might just be talking about something funny or you might have a little bit of tension and you might want to point out a video or an image and have that pop up on top of your main video. So those are the three main use cases for this feature, uh, but I'm sure you could use your imagination and come up with something really cool. So without further ado, let's crack right into the video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So from here, all right, so from here we have an example video where uh, I basically am just showing you what I was talking about in that first segment. So from here, you see the text, you see the loading bar, you see the captions, and then you also see the stock video in the background that also transitions into images while the foreground remains the same. So this creates a, an interesting effect, and then you also see the progress bar. So I'm gonna go to storycreatorapp.com. I'm gonna go to the dashboard. If you already have an account, you'll be logged in. If not, uh, then you just need to create one really quickly. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new video. So I'm gonna hit add new video, and then from here, I'm gonna have a blank canvas. So basically, I'm gonna sh show you exactly how I created that type of video step by step. So the first thing that I wanna do is actually find some stock footage. So I'm thinking uh, that this one was a cool one, but I'm gonna try something new with the ocean water splashing up on shore. So to keep this video really short uh, and sweet, I'm gonna make it five seconds, and I'm gonna select this clip and make it active. I'm gonna put the playhead right here at five second mark. I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard to split it into two. The reason why I wanna do that is so I can trim the fat here and I can go ahead and just delete that second half. So that's great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to a pre-uploaded video of me talking about a feature inside Story Creator. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then by default, to keep things easy, it's just gonna stack them next to each other. That's great for beginners that just wanna get something done. Uh, but then now, if the, the new feature that you're gonna see here is you just drag it down, okay? Now I'm also gonna make this, I'm gonna move this back to the zero second mark so that it goes on top of it, okay? Then I'm also, I'm gonna leave a playhead here. I'm gonna also trim this at that exact same marker by hitting S on the keyboard. So from here, I'm gonna delete the second part. Now I'm going to resize this background video by selecting it, and I'm just gonna move it up to fit the whole dimension of the artboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and center that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and preview this really quickly. Cool, now I have a really nice effect and I'm liking this. Now to take this to the next level to, to basically get on those levels of those LinkedIn videos that you're seeing and those Instagram videos that you're seeing is you wanna add a progress bar. And that's really easy. You just go to the elements tab and then from here you click progress bars. We have only one style now, but we're gonna be adding a lot more styles. There's, it's gonna be really cool. They're gonna be futuristic looking, retro looking, ones where you can add your logo as the, as the progress bar, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but for the meantime, we're just gonna use this basic one here. Uh, we're gonna look at the timestamp five seconds. This is at 4.94. I'm gonna actually move this to five seconds. I didn't actually confirm the playhead timestamp and it was actually a little bit under the five second mark. So cool. Now everything's at five seconds, zero to five, zero to five. We can also look over here to the right, zero to five, cool. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and preview it. Thanks for checking out this video. That looks uh, good. Subtitles. This is just- the Great, app. the last thing I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna talk about adding some text. So I'm gonna go ahead here and add some basic text. That's gonna add it from zero to five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this up, move it to the top here. I'm gonna make it white, and then I'm also going to make it bold. That's great. Now from here, I'm going to also increase the font size to 96. I think that looks good. And then from here, I can maybe think of something interesting and relevant to the video. Uh, so I sort of talk about subtitles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. Nothing too compelling, but uh, gets, gets the point across here. So there we go, we have our loading bars, we have our subtitles, we have myself talking, and then from here I can actually subtitle it by selecting it and then clicking add subtitles, and then from there you can see a loading bar. Uh, and this video is only 15 seconds, so it should only take about 15 seconds 
uh, for the results to come in. Uh, and then from here, since we trimmed it, we're gonna get a few extra uh, pieces of text that we can just clean up uh, once it comes in. So there, there we go, we have our subtitles. Let's just map, make sure it mapped up correctly. Thanks for checking out this video on how to make subtitles. This is just a demo. So I just cut myself off, you know, mid-sentence. That's fine, just for the, for the example uh, of this video. So I'm gonna move this end time to five seconds here. See, I'm having a slight uh, struggle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here, I'm gonna hit five, I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard. So now we have a nicely trimmed subtitle element. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this last one because we don't need it. I'm gonna hit Command S on the keyboard just to make sure it's saved. That will confirm whether it's saved or not. So from here, there we go. We have our beautiful social media video. I think I did this in under five minutes. It could be in a little bit, a little bit less, a little bit more, but uh, nonetheless, uh, that was pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, export. And there we go. Now you have a beautiful, ready to go social media video for LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully this video helps you. And I feel like there's a lot of use cases with uh, videos stacking on top of one another. Can't wait to roll this out. It's gonna be in production by the end of the night. And chances are, if you're seeing this video, it's going to be at storycreatorapp.com. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let's get it, man. 2020 is the year for videos. 2020 is the year to grow your brand. Here we go.